Here I am surrounded by very expensive yachts, none of which I'll ever be able to afford because I don't work in radio. However, there are people around me that do. In fact, there's a radio survey party going on right over there and one right over there. And I need to hear what they have to say, so I'm going to get amongst it like a whore in a box of cocks. Thane Kirby, how would you describe uh, radio in one sentence? Doesn't matter what you like. There's something for you. Radio's as strong as it's always been. Average. A very Eurocentric. They forgot about the Māori nation. I think New Zealand Radio is really good, especially if you'd like to employ me. How would you complete this sentence? Mm. Talking about radio awards. It's not whether you win or lose, it's... Who gets more wasted at the after party? How much alcohol you have post-function. Uh, who gets on the piss at the end of the day? Everybody here is saying the same thing. Who do you think has got the sexiest radio voice but the worst face? Roger Farrelly, who I work with, Coleman has to come out on top. <laughs> so, you know, if you were asleep and you heard Roger's voice saying, you know, it's ten past six, and the way he does, you'd be kind of sort of wooed and quite soothed and strangely aroused. But if you woke up and saw his face, you know, you'd piss the bed. Who do you think's the talent, most talentless person in radio who just blagged their way in? I could name probably a dozen. Go on. Fletch and Vaughan, yeah. I've got nothing but good things to say about Pete the Parling here, I mean. No, look, look, I respect all our competitors. I mean, shit ass, <laughs> wits, <laughs> tarts, rubbish, bullshit. Bully Jackson. Clearly there's a racial bent there. Ex-politicians make shit radio broadcasters. Thank you, he's not a Māori, of course. No, no. We got rid of a major group. Racist. You look a bit Māori. Oh, yeah. thank you. I'm Jackie Brown, so... Who do you think is the most talented person currently in the, in the radio industry? Uh, I'd have to say the morning crew, Pauline Grant. Followed by... Danny Watson, he's the man. Dinks is a good guy, I like any old Dinks. Mike Osking, I love that guy. Yeah, he's like you, he had a drinking no, problem. No, he still has. Yeah, what, what are you never in? What are your hopes and dreams for the radio awards this year? To all the other people we're nominated with, which I'm pretty sure is, um, uh, I think Blackie's in there. I'm pretty sure what now are in there. I don't, it's pretty, it's pretty stiff competition. Um, I just say, guys, bring your A game, or, or your B game, certainly a game with a letter in it, and we'll do the same. And may the best man slash woman, because obviously, you know, equal opportunities, fucking whatever, uh, win. Kia ora, hello, welcome. My name's Jason Reeves. Hello, I'm John O'Prior, and welcome to the 2010 Radio, Radio Awards. Awards. Boom, boom, boom. Mm. Yeah, um, you might be thinking, well, they've really gone budge this year. They've cut costs everywhere. Hence yeah, you're the suits. Yeah, you're sitting around your computers, your laptops, or some scungy bar in the middle of the wider wrapper going, this is lame. This is, where's all the money gone? Where is the money gone, Jace? Well, they had big meetings, and it was very, very top level meetings, and they decided they'd spend all their money on special effects. For example, kaboom! Explosion! Look! We're in Pakistan. Look at it. Wow. Mike McRoberts must be very, very jealous. Yeah. And look, Jono, this is what you're going to look like in 10 years from now. <laughs> hey, it's JJ and Dom from The Edge. They're trying to send you a text message. That's hilarious because they actually did that to you. Stalked you on the phone with the thing and you thought it was a freaky, rapey, stalky chick and the, I think the police got involved. <laughs> I'll tell you what is funny, Cy and Gary, although not funny the way they're looking now, look at these old buggers, no, poor buggers. It's so sad when you see legends like that, yeah? I know it's on your mind, it's, not even, it's sort of like the big elephant that we don't talk about, but when's Gillespie gonna knock it on the head, hey? Oh, hey. She's beautiful in every single way, Jono, and words won't bring her down. No, but in all seriousness, we do need to welcome some very special guests to this year's online awards ceremony. That's right, exactly, for example, from The Rock, Ricky Ponting. Great to have Ricky here, very special guest. Jason Thingy, beaming him live from Christchurch. Good to have you watching in the Garden City. But this is quite important though because we've actually got some very, very high powered people watching. The big bosses, John Mack and Susan Turner. Hello, thank you very much for watching. Hello, welcome, welcome, great to have you watching. I think there's a very special guest in the Hawks Bay. Tune yeah. in. From his lovely estate in Pokawa Valley, Paul Holmes, from his laptop watching there. G'day, Holmesy. Hello. For the first time in about four years, N Stables has been able to attend an actual awards, so uh, good, good to have you watching, Stables. But it is time to celebrate a great industry. And the people that make it great, so relax and get comfortable and get ready to celebrate. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2010 New Zealand Radio Awards. 
can we can we afford applause? Or is it, do we just do it ourselves? So thanks to technology, radio is more interactive than ever. Online, on air, and out on the street. Our first category celebrates the innovation and collaboration behind radio's best community campaigns. Outstanding community campaigns are sponsored by the Radio Network. And first up, best one-off community campaign. The finalists are Danny Watson, Shave for a Cure, News Talk ZB. The More FM Ronathon, More FM Manawatu. Rowing for Prostate, the Radio Network. And the winner is the first award for the Online 2010 Radio Awards, the Ronathon, More FM, Jason West, More FM, Manawatu. Linda Williams, congratulations. You were part of our Ronathon. You obviously gave money and, and contributed, and we got there. We made the $50,000 for Ronald McDonald House, oh. and you went into the draw for the Mick Holiday. Yeah. You've won! Oh, no, oh, my God, oh, my God. You're no shit. No. <laughs> Next up, best extended campaign or contribution. The finalists are Joe Finlay, 1XX Radio Bay of Plenty, Anna McGovern, Times FM, Cindy Davies and Grant Millman, More FM Dunedin. And the winner is Cindy Davies and Grant Millman, More FM Dunedin. More FM Dunedin stands out as a group of dedicated broadcasters who work exceedingly hard to contribute within our community. Whether working behind the scenes coordinating logistics, providing invaluable manpower or promoting numerous community events over the airwaves. The suspense, the excitement, the thrill of the chase, the euphoria of the win. Our next award, Best Promotion, celebrates the skill and the effort behind the best radio promotions. These categories are sponsored by Reaction Screen Print, so you win a t-shirt. First up, Best Network Radio Promotion. The finalists are... The Edge, Nudie Nuptials. Mike's Magic on Mike Hosking Breakfast, News Talk ZB. Rock Wives, The Rock Network. And the winner is... The Edge Nudie Nuptials, Robert Dickey, Leon Rat, Kelly Gallup, The Edge. And very good morning to you. We are here on a boat in the Bay of Islands for The Edge Nudie Nuptials. As part of a promotion by the radio station The Edge. The vital bits were covered, but oof, not by much. Next up, best individual radio station promotion. The finalists are... 93.4 More FM Tauranga Superhero. The Rock Car Show, The Rock Dunedin. Running of the Brides, More FM Wellington. And the winner is The Rock Car Show, The Rock Dunedin. The winner of The Rock Car of the Year 2009, Dave Casey with his 1974 Holder Monaro. Not only did he take that out, he took out Best Pre-70s. How are you feeling, Dave? Oh, I'm stoked. I, there's, there's nothing else you could have asked, you know. I mean, taking out one award's one thing, but taking out the overall choice award, it's, it's massive. Next up, Best Client Promotion. The finalists are The Incredible Pringles Chicken Race, The Edge Network. The Nation's Chip, The Rock Network. The Memphis Meltdown Shout for Cash, The Edge Network. And the winner is... The Nation's Chip, The Rock Network. The winner for The Nation's Flavoured Chip is...